Hey, how are you doing again? We're back with another YouTube video here. This particular video is gonna be how to use a digital scale. I guess this is a question I get all the time. Why is the scale so important? I don't understand how to use it. Today, we just wanna simplify it. Um, the reason why it's important is really twofold. One, it's consistency, right? If a product fails, be it ours or be it someone else's, typically it's because um, maybe we called it a pinch, right? Or a drop or a, a dablet, right? Or just a little squirt, right? And we mix to a certain type of consistency. And then we wonder why we didn't achieve our target color. Another reason why we use digital scales, which is what I really wanna spend more time focusing on today, is how you can save additional money and the accuracy. I also wanna go through very quickly, grams versus ounces. Grams versus ounces. And why um, each unit of measure is, uh, is what they are. So to start, you can see on our scale right here, if you can zoom in here for a second, I've got an I love you thing. If I remove this and I hit the on button here, automatically, this scale is set to ounces at this point, okay? If I come over here, this is a gram to ounce button. It's still set at zero. That's how you change it. Once I put this on the scale, it's at one ounce at this point. This, this uh, set of sunglasses here is at one ounce. If I come over to grams, it's 27. Now here, let me show you something that's very interesting here for a minute is if I throw, what is that, five bobby pins, four bobby pins on, it changed it to 28 grams. But when I come over here, it's still one ounce. So what I'm showing you is, is that even though that doesn't seem like a lot, over the course of your lifetime, grams to ounces makes a huge difference. Makes a huge difference of going grams to ounces. That little bit, even though it's four bobby pins, and you do that four times a day for 40 or 50 years, that's a huge number for you guys. And I, I think we forget it's the attention to detail, the little bit goes a long way. So let's zoom back in here for a second. Let's go back in. The scale is currently zeroed out. If I put my bowl on here, this particular bowl weighs 2.5 ounces, okay? Come over to grams, 70 grams, okay? What you would do is, you hit this button here, it says tear. What that does is it zeroes out the scale and you're starting from scratch, you're starting from zero. So let's say I wanted to mix um, some cover line color up, all right? And let's say that I wanted to put one ounce of color in, okay? And I wish I had a, key, a tube key now. I do not, I'm just gonna pour this in here. Right, 0.5 ounces, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, nine, one ounce. I come back over here, I'm at 28, 28 grams. For all of our illustrations, I'd like to just keep it 30 grams because it's really, really close. Um, and that little bit of difference there really won't matter too much. Um, but to go forward, what I would do is this is one ounce. I would come back in here. If I wanted to pour, I would tear out my scale again. I am now at zero. Just by hitting a button, I'm at zero. And I know that I want to get to one ounce. Whoops, went a little too fast there. <laughs> but that's how it works, okay? Now let me show this to you guys, and, and again, I'm at 31 grams, just a hair over that. So what I'm gonna show you guys here for a second is the math. And I know everybody loves a math lesson with all these Zoom classes that we've all been doing. But if you look at it like this, for simple simplicity, we have 30 grams equals an ounce. So 15 grams is one half, seven grams, quarter, and two grams equals a pinch. I hear a lot of people as they write down their typical formulas, I just put a little droplet in, just a little pinch, 
and nobody really knows how much that is. Nobody's ever been able to explain it to me. So today I wanna, I wanna define what a pinch is. Approximately two grams. It's the, basically the smallest denomination that you can squeeze out of the tube. So a typical formula for a lot of, a lot of people is this, one and a half ounces of color. What that equals is 45 grams, 45 grams. One quarter ounce of color equals seven grams, plus your pinch is two. If I would add these up, it'd be 45, seven, and two is 54. And then I would tear out, I would turn back around and hit 54 grams. Now here's the deal. If I wanted to do this in fraction form, I don't know about you guys, but my kid's math is getting way past my pay grade, right? So by using whole numbers over here, I now can get the result that I want every time and I'm consistent and I'm accurate. And it's as simple as two buttons. Have a good afternoon.